Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Denise. Today I want to talk about my favorite things from the month of February, but I wanted to do it a little different than I've done it previously. So instead of just talking at you guys and just holding up a product and blabbing on, I thought I would incorporate some more cinematic and interactive, if you will, elements to this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know in the comments below if you like this different approach. Before we go any further though, hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any of my future videos and so we can continue to grow this community here on YouTube. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Let's get this thing going, shall we? On a typical morning in February, I could be found listening to one of two things, a podcast or an album. So I will start with the two podcasts that I've been listening to the most. The first is The High Low. This is hosted by Dolly Alderton and Pandora Sykes. They are both UK-based writers, really inspiring, influential women who have wrote some incredible pieces of work. and. I love their podcast because they talk about such a variety of topics. They talk about pop culture, socioeconomic issues, political issue, issues, um, feminist issues, love, relationships, you name it. Like nothing's really off limits. It's a very popular podcast that for whatever reason I stopped listening to for a little while. So I'm really glad that I picked it back up. The podcast that I've been listening to is called That One Audition. It's hosted by Alicia Oxy. She's an actress and she interviews actors and people on the crew side of film, mostly actors though, and asks them about that one audition or those experiences that really um, pushed them in an exciting direction, gave them momentum to move forward in the industry. It's, it's really refreshing for me as an actress to listen to stuff like this and you know, know it's going to work out for me in the end because it, it is a hard industry and I can get down on myself and I'm glad I'm not the only one. I wasn't listening to one of those two podcasts in February to get my day started. I was listening to Ariana Grande's album, Thank You, Next which I know everybody's talking about and listening to, but for good reason. I mean, she's queen. This album is so, so good. She's been dealt some really, really tough cards and this album is such a comeback. And those traumatic experiences have been directly translated into her music. I'm loving, loving this. Needy and Bloodline are probably my two favorite songs on the album that weren't released prior to the album release. That was a lot of releases. Um, and obviously I love the songs that we heard before, like Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored, and Seven Rings. It's great, it's that perfect dance in your room like nobody's watching, belted at the top of your lungs while you're driving kind of music and I'm so happy. I love it. Love starting my day with it. So once I've picked what I'm going to listen to to get my day started, I then begin my daily skincare routine and I have a new addition to my daily skincare routine that I'm obsessed with and it's the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I've wanted to try this for so long but I wasn't sure exactly where to get it here in the States. It was worth the taxes and worth the wait and worth converting to US dollars because it is so good. It's packed full of vitamins and I think it has pumpkin extract in it too. All this goodness and it smells incredible. It has this lovely citrus scent that's very light and fresh and when you apply it to your skin, it emulsifies into this really, really lovely oil and it leaves your skin feeling bright and fresh I feel incredible after I wash my face with it and that smell lingers after, which is so nice. And reach for the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Body Gel Lotion. I mentioned this in my Amazon Favorites video. It's a body lotion whose main ingredient is hyaluronic acid, which is so, so wonderful. I don't know why more skincare companies haven't come out with lotions like this because I really feel hydrated after, not just moisturized to where I feel like my skin is soft only for a little bit of time. I feel hydrated for the rest of the day and my skin is so thankful for it. And the best part is it doesn't leave your skin feeling sticky or tacky afterward or even slippery. You can just go ahead and get dressed after you apply it. 
The price tag's $10, I mean, you cannot beat it. Two beauty products that dominated my makeup routine in February. The first was the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. That is a tongue twister. I love this eyeliner. I've been wanting to perfect the really subtle winged eyeliner. It's one of my beauty goals of 2019. I feel like I'm too old to not know how to do it. Um, let me pop some inspo so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I love the look of a subtle wing for every day and then, you know, lengthening it out for nighttime and just the fun that you can have with liquid eyeliner and experimenting with it. So I read that this was a top rated eyeliner, went to Sephora, had the girl explain it to me and make me apply it myself so that I could do it at home and I've loved it. It doesn't smudge after I've put it on. I get a really precise line. I can make it as thick or as thin as I want and it's fantastic. Second product that I have been absolutely loving are the Glossier Lid Stars. They are liquid eyeshadows and they come in I believe six or seven shades. They are in this cool test tube packaging and have a doe foot applicator, which makes it really easy to just swipe on and you don't even have to blend it out. But I love shearing it out with a eyeshadow brush and just giving it, giving your eyes like a nice glitter with a hint of color. I especially like mixing them with bronzer as well. And I got the colors Fawn. It's a cool tone smoky taupe color that's really nice for every day. And then I also got Herb, which is a beautiful mossy green metallic. And I'm wearing Herb today, but I'm not sure if you can see it because I've had my makeup on for a little while. I'm obsessed with these. I think they're wonderful products. I know they have mixed reviews, but I'm not looking for an intense look when I reach for something like this. I just want a little bit of oomph to my everyday makeup, and these achieve just that. Once I'm done working for the day, or even while I'm working, I've been loving to snack on the hippies. I don't have any with me, otherwise I would show them to you guys because they are so good. Like they don't last longer than a day, but when I buy them, they're so good. They are chickpea puffs. I would say that they're kind of like healthy Cheetos. White cheddar flavor is so good, and they have protein in them, and they're dairy free, and gluten free. It's just a win-win, a great filling snack that I don't feel that guilty about eating when I reach for them. At night in February, I found myself hibernating a lot, not going out as much, not going to dance class as much, not really wanting to do anything on the weeknights except stay in and either read or watch Netflix. It was totally fine because I made some amazing discoveries in February. I flew through The Silent Patient. I mentioned this in my book haul video, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it was Fantastic. It's a thriller which I usually gravitate towards and the story tells the narrative of two characters at the same time, but you don't know how they're connected. You don't really know the timeline of the events that they're speaking about until the end. The end was a shock. I did not expect that at all. I loved this author's writing and I'm really excited to see what else he comes out with because I definitely think I will enjoy it. When I wasn't reading before bed, I also binged two shows on Netflix in February and absolutely love them. The first was Bodyguard with Richard Madden. I heard about this show all last summer as it was blowing up in the UK and I was so excited when they released it on Netflix, but I had to wait until we finished some other shows to get this started. I think we finished it in a weekend. It was so good. It stars Richard Madden. He plays a bodyguard to a politician, a female politician. And I think she's like the equivalent of our director of Homeland Security. I'm not quite sure, but in any case, they have an interesting dynamic between the two characters. He has a really troubled history, deals with a lot of depression and big heavy issues. He won an Emmy for it. It was really good. I am still team Jon Snow, even after watching this, but I do have a soft spot in my heart for Rob Stark now that I've seen him in another role. He was, he's extremely talented, wonderful actor. This show is so good. I highly recommend you check it out. The second show that I loved in February was Russian Doll. This stars Natasha Lyonne from Orange is the New Black. She plays this really crass, 
New Yorker who has this like tough exterior and this tragic past. I guess her mom died and everything. Anyway, she keeps reliving the same day over and over and over again. Kind of like that movie Groundhog's Day with Bill Murray. And it's a dark comedy. It's really good. It has like, I wouldn't go so far as to say it's a sci-fi show, but it's really good we the first episode kind of took me a while to get hooked and then once we got through the second one we flew through it it was hilarious it was emotional it was a really unique storyline i'm obsessed with it i hope that they continue the story but i'm not quite sure how they would do that so we will see what happens i hope you guys enjoyed hearing about what i loved in the month of february leave me a comment below and let me know some of your favorites from the month of february as well Subscribe if you haven't, thumbs up if you like this video. You guys know the drill. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.